Hey, what do you do, family? Bless up. Gonna do another teaching, really, really quick teaching, really, really quick video. Seems like it's been a while since I made a video, so hope everybody's hanging in there, doing well. Keep getting up if you're going through stuff. Stay faithful. Stay, stay, uh, stay grateful. You know, throughout the journey. But you know, if you if you know my page, a lot of my teachers, not all of them, but they center around the importance of family, the importance of marriage, the importance of fathers as it relates to God and it relates to the calling that we have on earth that's so beneficial, uh, put on this earth to glorify God, to bring honor to God, to be fruitful, to be multiplied, to multiply, and to raise up a, a next, the next generation under God with godly precepts and godly principles and wisdom. Um, you know, and, 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 and that wisdom that he give each individual parent to raise their kid could be, you know, a lot of different things, but ultimately it's to bring him glory and to use those gifts that he's given us for his glory. Um, so the way that I study and look at the word is often through the lens of of, of, of family and fatherhood and the importance of the call of it. I think I said something the other day. I said I think we have diminished the power of the call that fathers are supposed to have. And that's not a monetary thing, that's not a power thing. That is a that is a that is a God thing. God made Adam first and then Eve, and then he made Eve for Adam. That that's never to be upside down. And that that I mean a guy that that's, that mean a guy has a right to you know bombard and harm and do crazy stuff to his family. That doesn't mean that. But there is an order set in place by the divine Father, by the Most High God, by Yahweh, that 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 says, hey, that man is my first creation. He is to be respected. He is to be honored. And whenever a community in a country, a country, you know where I'm going with this, but whenever a country the means the importance of men the means the importance of fatherhood the mean the means the teaching that men have they walk a dangerous line in a territory for what that man is is the mastermind of that family does that mean that woman doesn't co-partner in it no but as a man as a father one of our greatest responsibilities and duties is to navigate our families whether that's economically whether that's physically emotionally spiritually well uh, mentally we are designed to navigate our families because we are his creation. That's one of the reasons why in the, in the garden, he's God said, now you dress it up. That means know this garden intimately, know these fruits, know these herbs, know these trees. You you have to know that. One thing about that about, about God, when he sent that man, he gave him knowledge. He gave him wisdom. He gave him, gave him understanding. That's why it's so important. And, and, and that's why we're supposed to lead. And that's why when the great fall happened, that garden world was so serious because it's like, hey, son, I gave you leadership and you didn't observe it. You didn't, you didn't. And when I say leadership, what I'm saying is I gave you the commandments and you didn't listen. You got to listen. Fathers are so important. We and, 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 and as a community, we have to honor men. We have to not just, oh, we got some. No, men are to be honored. They're the elders. They're the leaders. The men are the leaders. And we honor men. We receive the blessing of God. You don't honor man, you won't receive anything from God. Your community will be in disarray. Your community will be in disarray when you do not honor the men, honor the forefathers, honor the grandfathers. Who you know the Bible talks about that so much. Abraham, what's it? Isaac, Jacob, Joseph. It it it, it says these things. That Christ that come through the lineage of uh, David. This lineage stuff, this father stuff, this seed stuff is very important. Now, you know, we're in a new age and, you know, family ain't important and you can be trans, you can be all, all of this is ultimately attack against the seed because it goes back to the garden of being fruitful and multiply. It goes back to the garden of being fruitful and multiplying. God wants men to be men. If you're not perfect, you're still a man. You're still his greatest creation on this earth. And, and, and men is the glory of God. In women, in women is the glory of men. They're created from us for us <laughs> by God, ultimately to give him praise. So we got to understand this thing about fathers and, and, and lineage, forefathers, as it relates to God's kingdom and the principles of God. It's a very, very powerful thing. And I think if people, especially women, understood this, they would understand it very powerful. They had an old proverb in Africa that said, if you know the, the father, or I think it, either, either the father or the grandfather, but if you know the father, you do not have to worry about the son. And what that means is, if you know the lineage, if you know where a person come from, their home, you don't got to worry about that, that, that kid because he, that kid has his father in him. And if his father was a great man, that kid probably going to be a good man. Woo! I just had to, you know, I, I, I'm so passionate about this stuff, guys. Like, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even come close to believing it. 
But we're gonna take us. We're gonna take a look at an older. I mean, an Old Testament passage. I don't know where my pen is. Old Testament passage, and that and this is Exodus, uh, thirty-eight to verse twenty-three. So that's Exodus thirty-eight to verse twenty-three, and I'm gonna show you kind of in a sidebar way how what I just said is so important. So listen to this. And I might butcher some of these names. You know those names in the Old Testament, but they'd be really tricky. But it says, verse 21. So that's Exodus 38 and 21. It says, and this is this is God setting up the the uh, the ta uh, uh, furnishing and setting up the tabernacle uh, for the church of Israel. Of course, with Moses being the leader. Anyway, let's go. These are the amounts of the materials used for the tabernacle. The tabernacle of the covenant of law which were recorded at Moses' command by the Levites under the direction of Athamar, son of Aaron. I'll repeat that. Which were recorded as Moses commanded by the Levites under the direction of, and I could be butchering this, Athamar, son, son of Aaron, lineage, fathers, the priest. So he was the son of Aaron, the priest. Basilel, Son of Uri, the son of Hur, H-U-R. Bezalel, I could be butchering that, son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, made everything God, the Lord, had commanded Moses. With him was Oliab, son, see, I keep saying the son of, that's the theme, the son of, the son of Ahashamach. Of the tribe of Dan, an engraver and designer, and an embroiderer in blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and fine linen. These boys were, were, were gifted artistically. These, these boys had the wisdom from God. And, 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 and some theologians say that these boys were very much so teenagers, which is a whole different type of spear. But they had the anointing from God to. Furnish and embroider. They had, you know, uh, I would almost say like construction, but these boys knew how to design stuff, knew very artistically. And God has said, I called them. I put my wisdom in them. I put my breath in them. But if you notice when we read that, it consistently says the son of. It says the son of. So the son of Aaron. Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of her, Oliab, the son of. You see that? So if it's in the word, some stuff is in the word people don't pay attention. When it consistently says the son of, and it said that three different times, that shows you that lineage, fatherhood, sonhood is important to the kingdom of God and to the principles of God. I'll repeat that one. Fatherhood and sonhood, the sonship, is important to the kingdom of God and to the plan of God. And if if there is a blockage there, I don't know my dad. I don't know my grandfather. I'm not saying me. This is just for the video. There's a blockage there. Does that mean God can't use it? Don't mean that. But 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 it shows that something is out of order. There's something out of because I should be able to say my daddy and my grandfather. I should be able to go back and say that because that is a biblical principle and God cares about that stuff. And I think we got to make sure that we're not allowing our hearts to become cold to fathers and to sons. And for that matter, mothers and grandparents. Now, people grow into toxic families and this, that, and the other. And sometimes, you know, it, like he said, he told Abraham to leave from your father land. You know, there's a, there's times where you may have to go from it because it's so dysfunctional in ways. But the overall point is we have to get a prim We got to get a response. We got to get a power back to understanding the positional spiritual power of our fathers and our men and our dads and our grandfathers. That's one reason why. And, 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 and the theologians say, well, this doesn't mean that. And maybe they're true, but I think it still apply, even if it doesn't mean that, which is. I'm going to turn back the heart of the children to the fathers and I'm going to turn back the heart of the fathers to the children. We need God in this time to turn back the heart of the children to the fathers, 
the fathers to the children, the wives to the husband, and the husband to the wives. You know, we have, and that there's many cases where, you know, you might not be with a woman. And, you know, but 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 after we know better, after we may have made a mistake, we have to just say, okay, I want to get it right this next time, God. Help me to get it right. Help me to heal my family. Help me to be a patriot, be a leader, be a spiritual guidance for my family. It starts with respecting the men and understanding that that lineage, that son of, he's the son of her, he's the son of, it matters. Because if it's in the word multiple times, that lets you know that God has an interest in the lineage aspect of it. Be blessed, guys, and take care. Peace.